Hi, and welcome to the second video in our Getting to Know LTI Advantage video series. In this video, we're going to show you a demo of LTI Advantage in action with LMSs like Blackboard, Canvas, and Sakai. And then we'll cover some key concepts and step through key messages that get sent back and forth during the LTI launch flow. If you'd like an introduction to LTI Advantage, please have a look at the first video here. To show us the demo and walk through the LTI launch flow, I'd like to introduce my colleague Diego Del Blanco. Diego is a developer here at Unicon and has worked on several of the early implementations of LTI Advantage for our customers. He also helped to review the LTI documentation and certification test suite for the IMS LTI workgroup. Over to you, Diego. Thanks, Linda. So let me show you how LTI 103 works in a real environment. LTI 103 provides an enhanced security framework that includes the OpenID Connect authentication process. For this demo, we built a tool here at Unicon that uses Core LTI 103 with OIDC, and we connected it to several different learning management system platforms. The platforms where we are going to show it running today are Canvas, Blackboard, and Sakai. This is a LTI 103 tool that has been configured and is running in a Canvas instance. The connected tool is a demo tool that we designed to stop doing the OIDC authentication process and show the messages exchanged between the platform and the tool. Of course, in a real tool, all this process is transparent to the user and it appears to happen in only one step. When we click on the link, the first step is the OIDC process. As said, the demo tool stops at this point to show the parameters that the platform has sent to the demo tool we will talk in detail about these parameters in future videos and the OIDC request that the demo tool has prepared in response. We can send the OIDC request back to the platform clicking on the link. The platform receives the OIDC request from the demo tool and after validating it returns the complete LTI link resource request. The demo tool shows what was inside the records, for example, the roles or information about the context. With all this information, a real tool can check the authorization for the user, and if it is correct, the requested resource is displayed. And if not, then an error message is generated. Now we're going to view the same tool, the demo tool, being launched from Blackboard with LTI 103. We have configured it as a course tool, so it appears in the left menu. Once we click on it, we have the same process that before. We start with the OIDC authentication, and after that, we will see all the information that the tool receives from the platform. Um, everything is exactly the same. We are viewing the the authorization that is going to be sent, we click on the button and we have all the information there. Everything is, is the same parameters but provided by Blackboard as, you, as we can see. And here we, say we have the same process but in Sakai. We launch the demo from the left menu. We display the OIDC request. We return the OIDC request answer to the platform and the platform displays and returns all the requests with everything that we are displaying in this screen. This demonstrates how the same tool can be integrated perfectly in three different LMSs with LTI. Of course, that's the reason why we are using LTI. Now let's go a little deeper to talk about important concepts when establishing a connection and then we will walk through the messaging flow. In a platform, we can deploy an LTI tool in different ways. As administrators, we can deploy different tools and give access to those tools from all the LMSs. In practice, most LMSs allow instructors to deploy tools too. That means that maybe the same tool is deployed several times in the same LMS. 
And of course, a tool can be deployed in different LMSs. So how do the tools and platform keep track of which is which when it comes to the different deployment scenarios? In LTI3, there are three identifiers which will allow us to deal with this. The issuer, we have the issuer that will identify the platform. For example, it could be lms.unicon.edu or Blackboard or Canvas or Sakai or Moodle or the, anything that identifies the platform. The client ID will provide a unique identifier for the tool inside the platform. And the deployment ID will be assigned uniquely by the platform to each one of the different deployments of the same tool. That means that this combination Issuer, Client ID and Deployment ID must be unique and it must allow the tool and the platforms to differentiate between each deployment. To initiate the launch, LTI 1.3 Core includes a basic message called LTI Resource Link Request. It is used to launch a tool resource from a platform. The workflow to make this happen will have some steps. Authentication to be sure that everyone involved is really who is saying. And then we will send the request content the user, the roles, the resource link, so the tool can authorize the final display of the resource. Let's see that in a diagram. In this workflow, we can see the platform, the tool and the user agent, that is the browser. The browser usually will just redirect the request and keep some session values. All this process starts with a user that wants something from the platform. The user clicks in a link and then the platform prepares a first message called OIDC login request. This message will contain some information that will be returned later to the platform, so the platform can remember about this request. The tool receives this message and looks if the, if the issuer exists. If it is a valid issuer, then generates a OIDC authentication request. On that request, the tool returns the information that will be used by the platform to remember and will add its own two attributes to later validate the answer from the platform, the nouns and the state. This will be in the request together with other interesting things and the, as the client ID. The nouns will be, will be used to avoid replication of the same request because it is valid only one time. And the state is an open attribute to send any information that the tool considers interesting to be returned by the platform in the request. For example, it can include information signed by, with the tool private key, so later only the tool can check the signature and be sure that everything is okay. Once this message is generated, the tool sends the authentication request to the platform. The platform receives the request and checks the content, find those attributes that the platform remembers, and if everything is okay, the platform generates a big JWT token where it includes all the information about the LTI resource link request and the nonce sent by the tool and everything is signed with the platform private key. This JWT is, to is called ID token and is sent again in a post together with the original state that was generated by the tool here in this point. The tool receives now the state that can be used to be compared with the state in the session and can have useful information inside and then it uses the public key of the platform to check the signature. It checks the nonce that is inside the GWT to be sure that this, this has not been used before and once the full authentication is finished and everything is checked, the tool is going to read the user information, the roles, the resource link so the request and validate the authorization. If the user has permissions to access to the link resource, then the tool is going to display it in the, in the browser. With this, the workflow ends and the tool is off and running inside the platform. So I hope this has given to you a good sense of what the interaction looks like when initiating a connection between a platform and a tool using LTI 1.3. Next videos and next steps are going to be using the LTI Advantage services. But this is the prerequisite to do that. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll go into more detail showing the actual messages transmitted between the platform and the tool. Please feel free to contact us at Unicorn if you'd like to talk 
to ask more about the project and to see how we can help you. Thank you very much.